Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In case you have not noticed, I've taken a little bit of time off. I haven't uploaded in probably about two weeks. Um, things got a little stressful and busy and I wanted to take some time and not stress and just really enjoy the holidays. So for those of you who watch, I'm so sorry and I will be back uploading. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my videos and liking them. It really means a whole lot to me. For this video, I wanted to do a little bit of reflecting on 2016 and a way for you to get to know me a little bit more. I kind of jumped into YouTube and I've had a lot of fun so far, but I really haven't said a whole lot about myself. I am 32, I live in Colorado Springs, and this year I got to call myself a YouTube creator. That was something that I thought about for so long. I really love YouTube. I love the platform that it's opened up. I love the fact that really anybody with a dream and a passion and a drive can set out and do something they love and people watch them and people um, like them and, and it's great. It's great fun to just do something that you love doing and seeing the reaction out there. And so I really appreciate you guys um, just watching them and liking them and sending the comments. I love it so much. It really makes me happy. Um, I didn't know how this was going to go. I was a little nervous and I thought about it and I spent a lot of time researching different things of what I wanted to do, how I wanted to be, what I wanted my channel to be like. And I can honestly say that I've been really proud of everything that I've done. There have been quite a few things that I've messed up on. Um, and it's it's a learning, it's a learning curve. Um, you know, there's been probably about three times that I've had to redo and refilm my entire video because of lighting or focusing or the fact that I absolutely forgot to hit the record button. Um, there have been some editing faux pas. I've left things like, insert your title here or I've done double scenes of things and you know it's just fun it's funny to look back and be like wow I'm so green at this still um, but I appreciate again that you guys watch these that has probably been the highlight of 2016 is actually jumping into this and starting my channel and actually following through with a dream um, I've had a lot of dreams in my life that I've kind of pushed off to the side or haven't gone quite as well so I've given up on them and this is something that I'm really proud of myself for doing and continuing to do. And I hope that, um, you know, I hope I get to do this again this year. Film videos, make great content, have a lot of fun with this, and, you know, hopefully grow with you guys. Grow in my viewership and in my subscribers. Um, I would really love for this to turn into something. And if it doesn't, I'm 100% okay with that because this is just something that I love doing to do. I have lots of other things in my life going on, and this is kind of something that I guess while I'm baking that just takes away all of the stress in my life. It's something I can focus on for me and do for me that just really makes me happy. My 2016 has been super interesting. I have had a lot of ups and downs, but really, I mean, who hasn't? I think it's all on how you deal with it. I work at a local news station scheduling commercials, and that's probably been one of the great things in my life, a nice steady job, something that I really like to do, and um, yeah, it's pretty good this year. I have a wonderful boyfriend and an eight-year-old stepdaughter, and we have had a freaking blast this year. We've gotten to do so many cool things, so many fun things, but again, not without its challenges. Um, but you know, as long as you have that love in your life, really you can get through anything. Not only have I had lots of fun with them, but I've also had lots of fun with my mom and my friends. It's been a really great year. Probably one of the hardest things in my life and of 2016 has been some fertility issues. I got diagnosed with a genetic abnormality that's pretty rare, and that was a really hard thing to cope with. Um, I tried some things, we did a couple things of um, IUIs, and that didn't work out so well. That was kind of a hard thing to go through, um, but you know, I'm, I'm keeping the faith alive and we are going to try a different avenue this year and hopefully I'll get to vlog that I am pregnant and that would be probably the best news of 2017. Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just going to continue working my job and spending time with my family and friends, jumping into the crazy world of fertility. Um, you know, if you guys are interested in that and want to see some of that journey, uh, leave comments down below. I'd love to see what you guys think about that. I'm more than happy to share my experiences with fertility. Um, I just don't know how many people would be interested to see that. Um, but I'm always open to share my life with you guys. I feel like this is such a great time 
in the world with technology the way that it is. Um, because if you're feeling alone and feeling like nobody's really knowing what you're going through, or maybe you feel so alone and nobody has experienced what you're experiencing, the internet is great to kind of put you in your place and say, no, there's so many people out there going through what you're going through. And instead of feeling alone, you can feel connected and feel that support. And I would love for more people to have that. And, you know, I know struggles of fertility and I know there's people out there that have 10 times the struggles that I do, um, but we don't have to feel so alone. Just know that in any moment where you are feeling down or sad, that it will get better. And I know that's so cliche, but it really is true. I've had some of my deepest, darkest moments Moments that I felt like there's never going to be any peace in this world, there's never going to be any fulfillment, there's never going to be a time where you are just utterly happy, but then life happens and it changes and something that can be really terrible at the time may turn into a really great thing. So please keep your hopes up and, and know that it does get better. I hope that everyone has a wonderful 2017. I hope that this year is filled with lots of fun, laughter, love, kindness. I'm going to continue to put out my weird and crazy videos. So if you like watching them, feel free to stick around. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or leave some comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I put out videos every Tuesday and Friday and I'd love to see you guys back here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you guys next time. Bye.